A section of members of the Garissa County Assembly are calling on the government implementing agencies to stop using insecurity to deny residents essential. The ward representatives say some arbitrary decisions are hurting livelihoods and those concerned should be mindful of all involved instead of rushed moves. This and more stories in the news making headlines in the counties. A section of members of the Garissa County Assembly said all the residents in every corner of the county should be considered for the year to be launched hunger safety net program, irrespective of where they have settled. The ward rep said the move by the government to stop some economic activities in the area like quarrying was not only hurting livelihoods, but driving many to hopelessness. Who actually called and make sure the Garissa County Assembly members are involved, and we are also appealing to them that we involve from the beginning to the last month, so that we also advise them who are the right people to be targeted and who are the people who are suffering for that uh, matter. Elsewhere, a section of Muslim clerics in Mombasa have staged a demonstration to protest the demolition of a mosque under construction in the Mwatamba area of Nyali constituency. They are accusing area member of parliament Mohammed Ali of being behind the move, but the Nyali MP has defended himself, claiming the mosque was just being used as a cover-up to grab public land. Ovo yeye amekosea Mwenyezi Mungu, amekosea Waislamu wa dunia nzima kwa kuvunja msikiti. Kwa hivyo ikisha masaa na mbili, hajaomba msamaha hadharani. Tutafanya mpango mwingine kama viongozi wa dini tusome dua maalumu yake tu makhsus. Tunataka tukae chini kama viongozi tutafute huyo mtu ambaye hatujui ni nani akae chini na wakazi wa Mwembelegeza na mbunge wa Nyali na MCA chief wakubwa watumishi wa serikali wale ambao watatumwa na commissioner atueleze ni muradi gani anataka kutengeneza ni njia ipi hata dhuru hao watu wengine na kama ni mradi atueleze ni nani anajenga hiwekwe pale bango isemekane ni msikiti unajengwa ama ni nyumba inajengwa ama ni baduka yaandikwe pale na approval limetoka county ili tujue sasa hatujui ni nani huyu anajenga while a new Kenya Medical Training Institute would be set up in Nyambene area of Meru county an initiative being spearheaded by the national government speaking during the laying of the foundation stone Igembe South MP John Paul Murigi said the institution would be a great boost to development in the area Ili jambo tunalifanya ili tuweze kuinua maua hii ili tuweze angalau kufanya maua munji ambao unapendeka munji ambao pia vijana wetu wanaweza kuwa wanapata kazi kwa uraisi and Kenya Union of Special Needs Education Teachers Kusnet Secretary General James Torome has called on Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha to consult education stakeholders in planning the reopening date of schools. Torome asked the CS to put in place measures to avoid the spread of COVID-19 when schools reopen. Let him, let him not be a lone ranger. Bring all the stakeholders. We sit down and we wait the way forward. You cannot be just moving to institution where you have not provided funds for the adjustment and then you are telling us that the, the country is ready to open the institution. Finally, street children in Kisi town had a reason to smile after they received food donations from a cross-section of university leavers in the area. About 30 street urchins received milk, bread and biscuits from the team who are also social workers in the area. If we get uh, well wishers and uh, governmental or non government organizations to support us, like we're always willing to do the charity work.